made it back to the UFO watchtower to burn Alicious. <laughs> Hi, Bernie. Yeah. Hi. Where are the cats? Where are the cats? <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs>So here's where we stayed, as we said, the UFO watch, UFO watch tower. It's $15 a night, no hookups or anything, but they got little fire pits, charcoal grill, charcoal grill uh, little tables and whatnot, and you're right next to the awesome UFO watch tower, which we're gonna take you guys over there shortly. We're gonna uh, grab a bite to eat before we do that. Um, and they actually are open until 5 p.m. It's about 5 p.m. now, but because we're staying here, we can walk over and not go inside, but go up on the observation deck and stuff. So tomorrow we'll go inside. Uh, we probably won't take you guys along for that because there's, there's a bunch of awesome UFO stories and stuff. And I kind of want to just kind of experience that and hear that. So we're not gonna take you guys in, um, but we'll take you over there later tonight to check out. And then hopefully the skies clear up completely. They're, they're pretty clear above us right now, but there's a lot of clouds in the distance. It's a way nicer day today, so. Yeah. So if we can get uh, clear skies, maybe we can catch some strange things in the air for you, for you all. But uh, yeah, well, we're gonna go bite to eat, like we said, and we'll take you over there here shortly. So we said we'd catch you after, but we figured we'd show you our delicious fillets that we're making up from Trader Joe's. We always get our fillets from Trader Joe's. They're pretty cheap, it's like $20 or two. And they are by far the best fillets we've been able to find. So we're just doing some fillets and some mac and cheese, some Panera mac and cheese, keeping it simple. But uh, about done with this, gonna munch down and then we're gonna get over to that UFO watch tower. Not sure if you guys can hear that, we were eating dinner. Let me bring the camera over here, see if you guys can hear it, looking out the window. The wind is crazy right now. It has uh, really picked up. Uh, so we're gonna give it a few and see if it kind of calms down a little bit so we can go over to the watchtower and show you guys. Otherwise, that may have to be in the morning. We'll see. So as it's on edge, considering there's been tornadoes lately in Colorado and tons going on in the surrounding states. I really just don't want there to be any hail. Yeah, I mean, listen to this out here. Literally shaking the whole rig. This is insane, but it's sunny and nice outside. Over there it's cloudy, you know, up over there. Mm -hmm. But above us is sunny and nice. Let's look out this side. Oh, not looking so nice over there either though. But this way is nice and sunny. Cloudy over that way. And there's Justin hunkering down too. Yeah, we're gonna give it about a half an hour or so, see if it calms down, so then we'll go over and check out the watchtower. If not, it's gonna have to be in the morning. So uh, stay tuned. <laughs> well, the wind has finally calmed down, so we're gonna take a walk over here, hopefully get there before this really dreadful storm right here. <laughs> you see that right there? Looks like it's coming our way. So uh, try to walk over here and show you the watchtower because you guys can't really see what it is, but it's pretty cool. And the stories that go along with it are pretty awesome. Oh my God. It's a little chilly. You can see this menacing storm behind us. And then you can see the beautiful mountain range right there. Um, sun going down. It's cold. Very cold. But uh, what makes this place, the watchtower, so special is this area is pitch black at nighttime. I mean, last night I couldn't see my hand in front of my face. So it's a really good spot to view stars and a lot of uh, shooting stars, you know, meteorites, things like that. But then also this is called the UFO watchtower because the skies are so dark, you see some weird things out here. Which there are a bunch of stories from here in the gift shop that we can't go in right this second. So we're gonna go in that tomorrow morning. And like I said, we probably won't take you guys in there. Well, I mean, we'll show you it, but we won't like, you know, the person working, you know, we won't record them telling us the stories. But uh, 
we really, really kind of excited about this, at least I am, because I saw this many years ago with my uh, brother, and uh, we wanted to come here, so we are now here at the UFO Watchtower. So as you can see, there are some really awesome little uh, figurines and uh, things set up here all around us. It's pretty dang cool. We did driver's license. Oh, we got a driver's license right there. <laughs> and then we have this cool fake satellite right here. And then a UFO over there. And you're supposed to, Brittany said you are supposed to leave something here. So we're going to leave a Neil and Britt sticker over on that UFO. And they got another UFO over there. I'll take you guys over too. But just a lot of unique stuff. And this is why they call it the Watchtower. Right there. And that is the gift shop in the little dome in the building behind. You know, this is cooler than anything we saw in Roswell. Yeah, this is more like alien coolness than Roswell was. <laughs> if someone created something like this in Roswell, if you're listening, you would do quite well because the stuff there is kind of boring. Yeah, it's very touristy. But this right here is very unique and kind of special. Like, you know, we got like a little glove on a tree there and then over here lots of license plates Jesus there's a bunny <laughs> I got that on camera <laughs> look at that run bunny <laughs> oh my god well that gave me that gave me a heart attack <laughs> well you guys saw that on camera and probably the camera jumped that scared the crap out of me there was a little bunny hanging out in the a uh, little license plate graveyard here so but as you can see it actually turned out to be a pretty beautiful night besides the gigantic menacing storm coming our way but uh we're gonna walk around check this out some more and uh we'll catch you guys in the morning because we'll show you just what it looks like inside and then a couple more things uh but that's all for now from the ufo Watchtower. So along with those stories of UFO sightings, awesome stars, comets, things like that, Brittany also read some interesting stuff about this place. So there's apparently two vortexes on the east side of the property that have been seen by 25 different psychics every time they come here. And that means they're open doors to other parallel universes. So... <laughs> um, and one weird thing we actually did just notice, so we are standing on the east side of the building right now, is the sun is setting right there. It's behind those clouds. This right here is lit up, and it was just a few minutes lit up even more with like light from somewhere else too, over here in the opposite direction. So... I don't know. It's it's just weird. Uh, we've seen, I think we've seen that before, light coming in two different areas, but there's a name for it, scientifically. But yeah, so right in front of us, sun is setting over there. For some reason, it looks like the sun is setting over here behind us, too. So, very strange. If it would have been a few minutes ago, though, and we would have got it on film, it was really lit up red. It was pretty cool.
good morning from the UFO watchtower. We have to leave our mark, so Brittany has a sticker ready to roll. We're going to leave it on the uh, gigantic satellite dish. Now our energy is here. And there it is. So we're going to save some of the mystery of the inside for you guys to come here on your own. They don't want to blow it. We show you guys everything that's really cool in there. But I will give you a hint because it's going to be on their website. You can actually find them on Facebook. Uh, they're on YouTube, on yeah. a bunch of different things. Uh, featured in podcast. But they have Snippy. So Snippy the horse is the first reported UFO mutilation, I guess. Um, I remember seeing it a long time ago, and I can't remember the name, but he is actually inside, uh, currently on display here at the UFO Watchtower. So that's going to do it for our time here at the UFO Watchtower. So we hope you enjoyed coming along to the dunes and the falls and this awesome little gem of a campground and place to check out. So please remember to give us a big thumbs up on this video, drop a comment below, let us know if you have been to Great Sand Dunes or the falls or even this UFO Watchtower. We'd love to hear from you. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We'd love to have you along for the adventures. See you in the next video. About to leave, already packing, come with me, I'm not really asking. But we don't know About to see